welcome to episode two. It was a ghastly tale of a winter's night. One of an invisible killer and a crime perpetrated on the pavement along Briar Road. As the victim lay at death's door, the mystery of just who had stabbed the young lady from behind had been resolved. But no sooner had my friend saved that Eastern Exchange student from his harrowing plight than in the dim, flickering shadows of gaslight did a second bizarre crime rend the stillness of that very night. I dare say most can still recall the sensational headlines of the day. Haunted apartment of death, the condemned criminal's curse, the dread demon of coal gas. Yet, Though the great detective had at once discerned the truth upon his arrival at the scene, it only proved to be the overture that announced the rising of the curtain on a most tragic play. As usual, hello again, welcome to Ace Attorney Resolve. I'm uh, resolving my, my uh, problems now. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, anyway, let's keep playing the game. So we are back in the past. It appears that Natsume got uh, fudged again in Britain. I don't know how quickly it went, even though he would just be, uh, we could say, so assaulted by one of the many crimes he didn't do. <laughs> anyway, my name is Rinosuke Naruto, a fledgling lawyer just starting out my journey. Six months ago, I arrived as a visitor, visitor, a visitor, uh, a visa student of law, having made a long voyage across the sea from the Empire of Japan to here, London, England. Hmm. And uh, on the way, in quite extraordinary circumstances, I made the acquaintance of a world famous detective. <laughs> and I live in his attic now. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, currently I reside the attic of detecting own lodgings, from where I run my legal consultancy of sorts. But there's a lot of more to today. I've successfully defended a number of clients in Britain's highest court of all barely. Successfully? How many? But since a particular like grueling and unforgettable legal battle four months ago now, I haven't returned to the courtroom. In truth, I lost my right to return. But that epic trial was just one small part of an epic tale, a tale which was now about to awaken from slumber. Thanks to a letter that arrived this morning from my homeland, Homolando. <laughs> Interesting letter. I mean, uh, the letter sounded like a pig, but okay. <laughs> uh, what a delicious smell wafting up the stairs. It must be an early time for breakfast. I better go down to Mr. Shum's suite and um, say good morning to the great detective and his flatmate. Okay, that was weird. I don't know. Oh, Iris. No time, we'll see. Sashiburi. <laughs> Aruna, good. I was just about to call out to you to beg on Sredi. Good morning, Iris. I smell delicious as usual. I mean, uh... Shh. Not another word, Mr. Nordo. Oh, he got the machine back. I mean, if you fudge bacon, I mean, uh, you are lost cause. I'm not gonna be an asshole, but uh, you are lost cause. I mean, uh, you just need to fry it. That's it. <laughs> School fee just be a obtrusive. You don't even need to add salt, for love's sake. <laughs> it's already salty. <laughs> you just need to fry it. <laughs> or even make it even more simple. You can even use the oven if you know how what you are doing. Oh, some people even more insane, you can use the microwave. <laughs> well, do you? <laughs> this could be just an obtrusive thing for my brain. 
pre-breakfast stagnation repel. You don't even need to add oil because you he has already full of fat. <laughs> Mental stimulation, my dear fellow. Why am I talking about culinary stuff? <laughs> Money to you too, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> anyway. No, you're too close. You're too close. Uh, oh, yes, I see. So that's it. What? Uh, okay. Too close, too close. You're breaking me out. The truth is clear to me as a day. My faculties of obse yeah, observation has revealed again. W what are you talking about? You're starving. You, Mr. Narco. Yeah, it is very morning. Bo morning, sorry. <laughs> Mom. Met with a surprise. I'm butchering all the words if that I'm reading. Is that not the case? Um, really? My dear fellow, it's barely weren't explanations. Firstly, your hair is particularly unkept, somehow reminiscent of a bird nest. Thank you. Uh, secondly, have a... <laughs> you have the glitter to fasten the bottom of your jacket. I don't have a jacket. <laughs> Clearly, we're considering together this to facts point. You have something being flustered this morning. Oh, there was a car incident. Right down the road. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, there was actually a car incident. I'm not, I, <laughs> down the road near my house. When I went outside. <laughs> can I talk to you? Uh, can I talk now? But of course, of course. But I don't look uh, for admiration, you understand? My hair always looked like this. It's been this way since I first met you. <laughs> Mine too, I guess. Oh, it has? And the button was free put on off last night, if you remember. By who? By you. <laughs> and you your button off? <laughs> well, you act so surprised, Iris. Oh, yes, I recall the incident now. It was after supper, was it not? And even in advance, I picked up my violin and began to play the whirly notes of a hunt haunting tune. But then, to my utter dismay, the third string snapped. Why did it have to happen? Why? Why? A little wonder then that in my vexation I grabbed the first button I saw and ripped it off from its province. <laughs> it's like looking for buttons. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Well, I like it back now, please. It's not me that I can't pass in my jacket. I want it back. <laughs> Just like, I'm not even gonna go argue it. Just give it back. <laughs> And it's troubling to me that you expect me to know where it is, somewhere, thereabouts, or on the floor, one presumes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, what do you expect, Jairo, though? <laughs> you think he's gonna keep it? <laughs> Helpful. <laughs> what matters at the present time, my dear fellow, is simply whether or not my deduction was uneven. But early, Bruno said it when it when he came in, didn't he? I had a surprise this morning. Yes, you... you did? Wait, I... I did? <laughs> well, that really is a surprise. What the hell is going on? Did I say it? Yeah, this man is the pride... <laughs> this man is the pride of the British Empire! The famous consulting detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes! <laughs> There can be a single person in the world who doesn't know his name. You're totally right. <laughs> a single man. <laughs> was like, I'm gonna butcher the name next time. It's like, oh, you hello no, Sherlock Holmes. I was like, oh, do you know hello Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the Holmes that we have at home. <laughs> All right then, enough with this silly conversation. Money eat this bacon before it gets cold. And I have a new herbal tea for you to try. My latest special blend. You British people are very courageous to drink a uh, beverage, hot beverage of, of dry leaves <laughs> that you manage to find <laughs> around the street. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we have Iris Wilson, Mr. Sholmes' lodger companion. AKA, what's on? What's on? What's on? A truly ex exceptional young girl who is the author of a highly successful serialization here in London. Yes, the adventure of Hallock Sholmes and has published a Rents magazine. Oh, so, Mr. Naruto, won't you put us out of our misery? What surprise you this fine morning? Uh, well. 
I received a letter from Japan. <laughs> I think this was written by a pig. <laughs> oh, from Susie, you mean? Was it really? <laughs> That's right, and she had some rather startling news, in fact. Ah, intriguing indeed. You must tell us all about it, you know, <laughs> over breakfast. Oh yes, but fun. Damn, they have so much time. <laughs> Oh, you tell us all the breakfast. <laughs> this is the letter that arrived from Japan this morning by International Post. International Post! Only 60 quid. Oh, how lovely. Look at Susie's beautiful writing. I wish I could read it. <laughs> I forgot this is like Japanese, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, she has a beautiful writing. I wish I could read it. It's like, <laughs> I was like, wait. Uh, how is that? your judicial system faring, may I say? Shake, shake, ask. She's very well, thank you. In fact, according to what she's written, she has to appear as a lawyer at the Japanese Supreme Court and won the case. Lovely. Oh, really? Oh, isn't she wonderful? Uh, cute above. A cat, sorry, cute above. Uh, cute above. A cat above your good self, my dear fellow. I won cases too, you know. Apparently, my Natsume appeared in the trial as a witness. Again. Natsume. Natsume. I don't recall that name. Of course you do. We held them. That man! Twice! <laughs> In those two cases that looked placed on Briar Rocks six months ago. Uh, the moustache. Twitchy man with a somehow felling eyes and the moustache. Yeah. You don't have two moustaches, Holly. And what have he had too? Yes, we could forget those two cases. They made a very deep impression on me. What impression? Although I must confess, the details are a little hazy now. No, no, don't give me a flashback. <laughs> so, a very deep impression they made on you, clearly. If you recall, uh, during that, uh, when we visited the lodgings of Natsume, we encountered two characters that we never encounter ever again on the first game. And I think that is about those two characters. The one that, uh, the Shakespearean guy, and uh, the other guy that I believe about. They were all, like fighting downstairs. So what was the startling news penned by Mrs. Sato? You remember the case of the Honda the lodgings, Marsha Shams? Oh yes, it's very interesting. Yeah, you know, I don't feel entirely uncertain that the case of that nature did not, not the call. He started forgetting then. <laughs> he totally forgot about it. Anyway, in her letter, Mrs. Sato asked that we read over her case notes again and investigate further. But it took place half a year ago. For what purpose? Because of something that Mr. Asu said of her, apparently. He suggested that the real reason why she was called back to the Japan, so should not lie. And have something to do with that case of the haunted lodgings. Hmm. Oh. Hey, felt like Sherlock is hiding something. On Mr. Natsume returned to Japan, Mr. Sato's father questioned him about the case, she said. And something Mr. Natsume said appeared to trouble. Miss Professor, Professor, Mikotoba prompting him to send the telegram. Oh, that case, yes, of course. He was very strange, wasn't it? Yes. And I had compiled the whole story into a nice neat manuscript read it for publication, too. Well, Hurley was all funny about it, remember? He was very mean. This story must not be published, you say? Very mysteriously as well. Really? I said that? Yeah, sure. You perhaps know something about it as well, Mr. Sholmes. Well, why Miss Susato has was suddenly told four months ago that she had to return to Japan? It's not about the basket, though, right? It's a closed case, right? <laughs> Are we gonna reopen it? It's been four months now since uh, we waved Susie off to Dover. It was such a shock, wasn't it? She was just suddenly announced that she had to go back to Japan. Hmm. Indeed, it was due to a telegram she received from her homeland, I believe. That's right, telling her to return urgently. Yes, because her father had passed away. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, 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 he just said she, she was suffering from a high fever, because of which was unknown. He's not dead, still. But according to this letter, the news about her father's fever was just a ruse. To a traitor? Yeah, Sadie's. So Susie's daddy lied to her. <laughs> so Susie's daddy lied to her so that she made the voyage back home. How would he do that? I'm sorry, I have absolutely no idea. Me too. 
but she believes it's almost certainly related to the case of the haunted lodgings. Summoning her back to Japan so suddenly like that, I wonder what Miss Susato found her is hiding. It's definitely something. Holy, do you know what he's all about? He definitely knows. He knows. He must know. It's so harsh, all the hands. Sorry, let me fix this. No, 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 no. <laughs> the sun. Oh, they move it. Oh, that's that's blame lame. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, well, who can say? What? But but you said. Please have engagements, my dear fellow. My calendar is quite surprisingly full today. <laughs> you are gonna dodge it? Ah, uh, Shellex. 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 Uh, street analysis of matter will be excessive. Um, I feel even if I were quite at the leisure. So, man of all my absent, won't you, Iris? I will, Hurley. Don't worry. See you later then. <laughs> he scattered off rather quickly there. I think perhaps Professor Mikroba isn't the only person hiding something here. I agree with that statement. Sasaki-san was involved in two cases, but only one of them was forbidden from being published. Mm, by all people, it's by Mr. Shums. Shalomus. Mm hmm I found it, damn. At last. Nice, are, are they? The notes about the case, that's right. So this is how I compiled them together. The case of the Honden lodgings. You want to read them, Bruno? Hmm. Yeah? Absolutely, thank you. I have well, the change of music. I have no idea what secrets could still be hiding in the shadows of this case. But perhaps if I read over the notes again, something might come to light. Yes, that's the spirit. Anyway, um, that's lovely. And so, Iris and I decided to read over the case notes again together. Everything from what happened to our investigation and fierce battle in court that followed. Relieving, relieving every detail. Just here to find a clue. I have a lot of time to work. And get... That's weird. Because we don't know anything about uh, Hound of Basketball, right? And also we don't... I guess also this one? So these are two of the novels that didn't want to be published. Hmm. Because of course, I'm no longer allowed to practice law in the court of Great Britain. What happened? What happened? Something happened. But of course, I cannot do it anymore. It was six months ago a mysterious incident that unfolded on the wintry streets of London. What? A young woman was found lying on the snowy pavement of Briar Road with a knife in her back. Fortunately, her life was spared, but she was unconscious for several days following the incidents. The fog was thick and nobody saw her attack her, but with a cruel twist of fate, a visiting Japanese student was walking behind her at the time and was duly arrested. It was the first chapter. Chapter? The man was Soseki san, and the man who affected his arrest was Mr. Sholmes. Believing all our comparative innocence, Susato san and I decided to represent Soseki san in court. And I, after a grueling trial of many twists and turns, we finally managed to prove his innocence. After the accuser did Yunatsume go? Joyful, joyous, jubilant jubilation. Yunatsume got, actually got arrested in England? This is a chance. Maybe not impossible. Out of curiosity. Actually. Ah, never mind. Today. He was the first one in the Japanese first. In, uh, Japan first Japanese English literature scholar. Uh huh. Oh wow! He lived in four different lodgings, 70 Gower Street, they even say the fucking places that he was. 85 Prior Road, West Hampstead. Wow. 85 Prior Road at West Hampstead. Oh, they, 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 they did the research nonetheless. Wow, the two years I spent in London were the most unpleasant years of my life. Among English gentlemen I live in misery. I like a poor dog that has three among pack of wolves. <laughs> Wow, it was that bad. <laughs> uh, lol. 
Kind of interesting. They got some stuff. But it was kind of cool, cool, cool. It was very cool, interesting. Anyway, that was uh, on Wiki, and uh, go and check it out if you want to. We received a telegram from Mr. Shums the following morning. The victim of the Briar Road uh, has regained consciousness. Hurry to Bart at once! So Susato-san and I summoned a handsome and headed immediately to the hospital. Do you recall, girl? You've been stabbed! I don't know how it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be. And there's a lovely mouse scene there. The hospital back in the day is so great. Love it. They even have a pet one to walk. <laughs> there you are, Teles! Good morning, Mr. Sholmes. Good to see you in uh, good health. I think not. What do you mean? Oh, oh, she's hardly still here. You are late? What on earth took you so long? Mm, your telegram only arrived at 5 o'clock, Mr. Shums, and it's 20 minutes ride to the hospital. That's right, and it's half past 5 now. Mm, I think we made a very good time. The time is utterly irrelevant. The fact is, I have been waiting for what it felt like an eternity. Jeez, it's cruised. In point of fact, I messed up. Was I walking at 4 this morning by a telegram boy? I feel it was somehow unjust that I alone had been roused. At such a hour, I sent one to you. <laughs> well, th th well, thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, you are here now, so the victim is over there. And she's only just regained consciousness. Oh, damn. She looks so much smaller. You should introduce yourself and I shall observe from here. There's a picture of a dark soul here. So what's the lady who was found? There's no covered pavement with a knife in her back. There's a Michelin trophy. Her name is... Uh, yes, here we are. Miss Grant. Green. <laughs> Miss Green. <laughs> you can't even try. Michelin trophy. There it is. What was the Venus thingy? I don't know. Oh, I have to examine her, sorry. I was like, oh, can we just talk to her? Um, good morning. Hello, I'm... I uh, am Ryosuke Naruto, from the Empire of Japan! Oh no, was... was it you, Knife, that are you the man who... No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> no, 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 I'm a lawyer. And I mean Sato Mikotoba, pleased to meet you. Oh no, was that, was it your knife then? Are you the one? Uh, no, 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 I assure you, I'm Mr. Naruto, is a... <laughs> I'm Mr. Naruto, judicial assistant, all. <laughs> Oh, like, imagine waking up, it's like, WERE YOU THE ONE WHO STABBED ME?! <laughs> uh, we hear that, <laughs> like, trust me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were getting cautious as and wanted to come to give you our best wishes. Best wishes? For me? Oh, um, thank you. Um, I'm Olive. Olive Green. I'm an artist. Olive Green? Oh, uh, well, no, that's not right, is it? What I mean is I'm trying to be an artist. Hmm, well, what I really mean is, I desperately want to be an artist. But the truth is, I don't have any talent. And no, I don't. It's no wonder I was stabbed in. <laughs> I don't have any talent! <laughs> stabbed right in the back. I guess I'll... I'll... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll be stabbed too, I guess. We'll see you there then. <laughs> we'll check each other and the uh, art is hell, I guess. You don't think that's related, actually? I mean, uh, you know. <laughs> there was a great art- uh, there was uh, some- some good artist that we didn't have any talent, but he managed to have a, a lot of talent with something else. <laughs> rip that, uh, rip uh, so many souls. <laughs> Gosh, this young woman seems to bend over backwards to put herself down. <laughs> seeing, as, uh, seeing as we are here, we should ask her about what happened from her perspective, I suppose. Oh, we actually gonna ask? Interesting. To suddenly be struck at the back, in the back, by a blade as you were walking along the pa pavement. What terrible experience you had, Miss Green? It was so cold that day, and the fog was so thick, couldn't see a thing. That was four days ago now, I think. It was right. Yes, that's right. I'm afraid you've been comatose all that time. But the case has been solved, hasn't it? I'll be here in the hospital, I mean. 
Aha, indeed it has, my dear madam. Spectacularly by none other than I, Herlock Sholmes. Mr. Sholmes, as you well know, it was Mr. Narloha working court that solved the case. Are uh, you yet to hear what happened, Miss Green? Yes, I'm afraid, sir. A gentleman from the police force is supposed to be coming to film in shortly. Mm. Oh, I see. Me coming around seems to have made everyone frantically busy. I'm so sorry. I shall never have regained consciousness. It was selfish. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're all re relieved that you are on demand, Miss Green. Really, we are. Jesus. With that kind of an attitude, maybe her surname should have been blue, not green. Wow. There we go. Now, uh, you are an artist, are you, Miss Green? Oh no, I couldn't possibly claim that. I'm fledgling artist at best. At best. That's my best. I mean, I'm a student of art, really, and, uh, to Torn Dyke Academy? They're trying to use the name of Tor. Torn Dyke Academy of Fine Arts. Torn Dyke? Oh my, an Academy of Fine Arts! Great Britain is such a wonderful country. Why, does they still does that doesn't exist in Japan? Tell me, Miss Green, do you live here much? No, no, actually. I don't deserve it, but I have a little flat on Brixton Road. I see. How oh, very interesting. I don't know the roads, I assume it's an interesting road, because um, it's rich, maybe? I don't know, wealthy? I don't know. Oh no, is it? <clears throat> Brixton is some of the 10 stop away from the underground from here. I'm told that Yakanem is a mere three minutes walk from Brixton Town Centre. Does that matter, Mr. Sholmes? Perhaps not, but Bri Briar Road is a far less salubrious part of town by comparison, talking by those inferior means. So he's a shitty neighborhood, he's basically saying. Including Maleficent, Mr. Mustache. Maleficent? <laughs> oh my god. Inferior means, I suppose, as to say, you know, like a suburb, I think. Does fit the bill? It's like uh, a shitty blaze, right? It strikes me somehow out of the ordinary for a young fine arts student to be walking in such a drift street. That's all. And what is this? She suddenly clammed up. Mr. Chomps, you should be ashamed of yourself trying to young maiden private affairs. <laughs> oh dear me, forgive me. Um, if you don't mind. I'm being discharged shortly, so I need to pack up my things. Oh yes, of course. Uh, we won't keep you. Thank you so much, Miss Green. That's it? That's it? Can you send me the mouse? Eek! A mouse, Mr. Doe! An enormous mouse! Yeah, it's huge! <laughs> uh, they're mean in a hospital. That doesn't seem the best. That seems accurate. It looks like a very healthy specimen, too! Doesn't it? It's very plumpy! <laughs> Oh, blabby big ears, blabby mouse in the hospital. <laughs> I'm sure we can say that's down to excellency. This facility, uh, facility is what you are, we're thinking. <laughs> big ass mouse. That must be a bag of Miss Green personal belongings. Oops. She would have been brought away directly here after she was found stabbed on the pavement. Expert, a friend or family member probably wrote those things to her. Mm, Alright then, let's see what is I to change your clothes, no doubt. Why are you changing looking at it? No, Mr. Rams, though! You must never scrutinize a young maiden's personal belongings. Uh, did you say so? <laughs> the young maiden might have a chocolate, <laughs> or biscuits, or caramel! I wouldn't want to eat if it was in a bag! <laughs> and also, she was in comatose for four days! They are definitely expired! <laughs> Naruhodo. Naruhodo. Look, there's a photograph of this frame here. Oh, yeah, it's a picture of a young gentleman. It looks, um, be about the same age as Miss Green, uh, I would say. Perhaps the young woman's special summer. Do you think? You talk? It looks familiar, I don't know why. My, my, Mr. Naruhodo. I didn't know you had a sense for matters of the heart. Wait till Lisa sincerely find the first thing I thought of. There it is. I didn't realize I had to examine it. Is there Mr. Naro Fodder? Yeah? Naro Fodder? Naro Fodder now? 
I'm not even trying. Well, um, if you're looking for Naruto, the lawyer, that's me, but... Ah, Mr. Naro Fodder. Good. Here is for you. There's a massive under Mr. Saucy Na Nutsmeg. Saucy Nutsmeg. Saucy Nutsmeg. <laughs> Saucy. Mm, okay, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Mr. Natsume. Oh, okay, Natsume. Nuts. Saucy Nutsmeg. Send a message to me. Saucy Nutsmeg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, why would a policeman be delivering a message from Mr. Natsuma? He's been arrested. Exactly what's going on? What's Cotton Yard Constable doing playing delivery boy at this time in the morning? Ah, what are you waiting for? Let me see that! Oh. Well, this is most unexpected. Is something wrong, Mr. Jones? Is something wrong, Mr. Jones? He says. Have you not seen this note? No, how could I? <laughs> It will seem that London criminals have no intention of letting the great detective rest. Ah, new case calls. A case of murder, no less. He must depart at once. Murder! Call a cab. Time is for of offense. Offense! But the trouble is, we have to read Mr. Tsuma note. I was thinking we ought to pay him a visit in his lodgings once we did. Well, he's in prison. That'll be entirely convenient. Convenient? What do you mean? We're going there. <laughs> It's all here in the note, my dear fellows. The murder we must investigate. Took place at Mr. Master's lodging. Wait, what? I'll hail a fiaster at once. It was only yesterday that Sasaki san was caught and was in dispelling doubts about his innocence. And now, the very next day, there's a murder at the man's own address. May very well, well be an unluckiest man alive. Or so it seemed to us at the time. We were soon to discover it was worse than we thought. Wow. What on earth? The body's still here! Oh my, the gentleman is deceased without question, he's deceased! Look, it's to the Mr. Doe Squire! Mr. Natsume. Why? Why is this happening? Why to me? I've only just got out of the cold yesterday! I was finally home after two days of misery! And then I wake up the next day to this? And only birds should catch a worm like this? Worm! Worm! Get out! Wiggle! I see you in high spirits again this morning, Mr. Mustard. Arr! Not a horrible hair like Shims! Shoo! Shove off! Show yourself to the door! Never invited you! Mr. Shobbs came in here with us. I'm quite sure he'll be able to, <laughs> to help you, Mr. Natsume. No, we're not going to. <laughs> I'm entirely at your disposal, Mr. Mustache. What can I do for you? <sighs> Too late. Here they are, ready to busy buddies. Ah, Inspector Gregson. What a pleasant surprise. Pleasant, is it? Give me a hair burn every time I see your face at crimes in insurance. Ha! I did you see, Spectre? Now your hair burn is a result of your excessive consumption of fried food. Huh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Spectre. It is not entirely untrue. It is a crime scene on your touching anything. Uh, good morning to you too, Sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Oh, <laughs> Sunshine! What a terrible thing to have happened. It's only been three days since I was arrested for the incident of the pavement outside. Ash, and then having finally regained my freedom, it's all happening all over again. Endless, existent, I have excruciating experiences. So the victim will live here on the ground floor and your room is just one story up, isn't it? Jesus Christ, yes, that's right, in a way. We're neighbors, I suppose. So did you know the victim? Were you friends? No. Sasaki? Sasaki? Is a yes or no answer? What's the matter with Sasaki now? It was an innocent enough question, wasn't it? Why does he seem to be shaken by it? Uh, well, well, I suppose he he wasn't a complete stranger. What do you mean by that? But, 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 but he, 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 he never invited me to this room. Never! 
on my orders, I swear it. And why you are in his room now? What an extreme reaction. You're probably wishing you never asked now, aren't you, Mr. Naruto? When we found him in room here, I felt wretched, which is why I sent word uh, again asking you to come. Do that expect over there? Okay. Tell me, Greggy. Greggy boy? So, Inspector, that was the victim's name. Who was, who was he? Mr. William Champspierre. They killed William? <laughs> like that? <laughs> the Willi they killed William at home? It was a lo <laughs> larger here? Oh, god damn it. As you probably would tell, he was an actor. A bit of a dead loss, as it happens. Or just dead. Plenty dead. <laughs> Super dead. Which is Shamespear. Sham. Shamespear. Was the landlord all that? It was the landlord or Mr. Garibald that the other lodger, Mr. Natsume, who found him. The fellow didn't rise at his usual hour, so Garibald got the word and kicked the door down. Kicked the door? Oh, I guess. But doesn't Mr. Garibald have a bad leg? Yeah. Ah, yeah, you're right there. I was the. It was the jittery Japanese hunchback over there who actually did the kicking. Really? So, Saki san? Everything was pretty hard up, it seems, even down some time. Inside for petty crime. The victim was pretty hard up. Ah, okay, so he was he was a considered criminal. He had no money, no place to go, no friends. His an acquaintance were the people in his house. Miserable life and miserable end to it. So what exactly is Mr. Atsuma still doing here? He's not involved in the investigation, so shouldn't you have sent him away from the crime scene? Well, I'm not saying it is because the fella looks odd or anything, or oh, well, that he acts suspiciously. But I thought it would be prudent to take a statement from uh -huh, the culprit. <laughs> I mean, the Kohami, eh? Uh, you nearly say culprit there, yeah? didn't you? Ah, oh dear. Mr. Natsumi appears to be under suspicions again. It sort of seemed that way. He does just come across as such an odd fellow, doesn't it? Poor man, unfortunate. A Japanese with a mustache. <laughs> Have you miserable life in the streets of London? Suburb of London. Anyway, I can't say much until the coroner gets here. But I don't think the fellow being a gone at long, the body's still warm. And if the expector would allow it, I don't think I could bring myself to touch a dead body. Dead body? Okay. Uh, we're gonna touch it! Oh, Sir Reynolds! You're gonna mess up my crime scene! Oh no, I just wanted to look! That's all. Detective? No chance, I know. I know you're kind. You messed it up just by looking at it. Ah, uh, something's in a bad mood. There is certainly some bad air in here. He's in here. He's in there. Ha ha ha. Alright, it sounds like it'd be better to talk to the inspector first and try to curry some favor. Wait, didn't I already talk to him? Oh, I mean, this bitch alloyed guy. I'll tell you, what the hell? What the hell are you doing, Shelves? Uh, Mr. Shelves, what are you doing? Nah, ha! You need. Nah, where are you? Ah, you need only upset to know it, my dear fellow. Investigating naturally. There's nothing natural about that pose. There's... what are you talking about? It's completely natural. It's a JoJo pose! <laughs> JoJo! Have you made them so miraculous discovery? Absolutely no! Patience, my dear madam. Patience, we're not being here in this... Uh, five minutes. Hmm. So far I've managed to deduce. Is what actually happened? It's poison? My goodness! But... Is that everything we need to know, Mr. Sholmes? No. Uh, doubtfully. And now that you proposed the idea, I believe one could indeed see into our way. That way, that way. At the present time, I have managed to draw two incontrovertible conclusions. The first, that there was a physical struggle here last last night in which the victim fought for his life. Really? That's a good one. Ah! Oh! Natsume, don't. You had a fight with him last night? We assume what's wrong. Is something that Mr. Shums had any significance somehow? Uh, no, no, don't worry. Forget I was here. Oh my god, that's something. You had a fight with him? And my second conclusion is that there was a poison linger in the air here last night to pass the victim's lips. Nonsense! Uh. 
Alright, Mr. Natsume. Why are you reacting so extremely to Mr. Shum's deductions? No, 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 please. Pretend I'm not here. Invisible, ineffable, inscrutable, insignificant. Impossible to ignore. You must tell us everything, Mr. Shums. Spare no details. But of course, let the theatric tragedy before us be unraveled by my great deduction. Present your pleasure in two acts. You heard some truly really astonishing great deduction from Mr. Shum in the past. No doubt this will be no exception, for the miracle will unfold before our eyes this time. So, my dear fellows, are you the light wonder? Let the golden rise! And guess what? We're gonna end the episode right now, right? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, well, because I say so. I don't want to make too, too long, like, uh, episodes. And uh, I feel completely tired. A lot. No, the usual. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of energy and being exhausted. Yeah, the live uh, YouTuber. YouTuber. Not even one. What the fuck I'm talking about? And have a lovely day and a even lovely evening and um, enjoy your dreams and have a lovely dream. Oh, so, happy dreams and good lovely bye. Bye me. Objection.